we are going to take you through the installation of the TM88V. You can see we've got it installed here. We're going to just continue through. It's the same on a fresh install as a reinstall. Um, we're going to select the utility, the win config, the advanced printer driver, and how about simple viewer, and next. We've got the paper loaded. Per the instructions, there's a little um, picture inside here. We do have this plugged into the computer with the USB port. So we're just going to go next. Um, here I'll delete the printer we've got and re-add it so you can see what this was like. So we selected our uh, TM88V receipt. That's what we bought. Um, I guess we'll create a USB port. Next through that. Okay. I'm pausing for these progress bars. Okay. Let's see if this printing test works. Last time I did this, it didn't. We're just going to run the utility. Let's um, delete these ports and we'll add a new one. Search. Communication test completed successfully. So it looks like USB 1 is where we've got this thing plugged in. And we'll hit OK. And here's our tool. Operation check. We can do a test printing. Cool. It printed some stuff and cut off the paper. So we're going to close this for now and hop over into Repair Shopper. Okay, let's go through some of the basic settings to get uh, cloud print working. So we're going to sign into Chrome. Okay. We're going to look for cloud print. Um, we're going to disconnect the printers and add the printers. And I'm not sure which of these printers is the one, but you yeah, automatically register new printers. OK. We've got some printers set up. Okay, I hit refresh a couple times and they showed up. Um, so now we're going to go over to Repair Shopper and link this Gmail account to the Google Calendar. And we'll accept. Just to set up the calendar part. And then this Gmail account is also the one that's going to be hooked up to CloudPrint. So now we go over to CloudPrint. We can sync the printers from Google, and here's all our printers. I'm just going to go to these Epsons and do a test print and see what happens. So the print job was queued. Do we get a print job? Let's try the coupon generator one. Okay, off camera I just played with this a little bit. I had to change the port on my printer. Um, I went into printing preferences, ports, and I tried a few different things. I tried USB 1 and 2, 
And then I tried this other um, TM88V um, T001, that one. And when I hit apply and print test page, that one actually worked. So, okay, now we know which printer it is. It is the um, where to go? Epson TM eighty eight V T eighty eight V receipt. Okay, so um, now back to repair shopper. It's the receipt one. We'll send another test page test page of the receipt. Usually a few second delay with these. Okay, we got a receipt. Now we got some uh, wasted paper at the top. Let's see if we can fiddle with this and get that white space at the top to go away. So, printing preferences. We've got it on roll paper, the default. We're not going to rotate it. Um, paper conservation. Let's try top and bottom for paper conservation. And we notice something. Sometimes it takes two prints for the settings to update to Google. Maybe you press print this time and Google has your settings from the prior print job. So after this print job, they're going to update to the new setting. So this one probably is going to be the same. Then we're going to print a second one. I'll wait for this paper to come out first. That's it. That's how you set up the receipt printer. So we'll go into receipt here and we'll say print one receipt and this is configured. Now when we mark an invoice as paid, we're going to get a receipt. Here's one that's not paid. Quick payment. Asking us if we want to close the ticket. We're going to leave that one open. Great. Have fun.